Well, hello, Coffee Time friends. I do not know how long we'll be on here. We just now, just as we was going live, got a tornado warning. And if we have to go to our safe place, it's right there. And we will be taking you all with us, I guess, Mama. So, let's say a little prayer and hope that everything works out okay. You mean lose the internet? Mm -hmm. Hopefully not. But if we do, we do. You all will know exactly what happened here. So, hopefully, we're just trusting, hoping, praying that everything will be okay. But we will take refuge if need be, folks. We want, we want to not take refuge, folks. It's important to do so. Now, over here, Molly cooked chicken today, and I'm just going to mash it up. And this is just one little breast. We're just gonna make some quick quesadillas. And this is just plain cooked chicken with salt and pepper. And butter. And butter. And this is what we're gonna put on our quesadillas. We, I heard a weather report today. It said it's gonna be starting tonight at nine o'clock, one through two p two a.m. Now, now, now they've changed it a little bit. Turn that down just a little bit. And I'm going to put a little extra virgin olive oil. And I'm going to put just a dash dash of, this is called Slack Your Mama, which I know that we never would do anything like that here because we'd get killed. I don't like the name of it. Mama don't like the name of it, but she likes the flavor of it. Just put a sprinkle sprinkle. We didn't put much. Just clean it off there. Now, I'm going to do something crazy. You'll probably think, I've never seen anything come up with that. I'm making semi-homemade sauce. And I make this all the time. Uh, because I like it. Because it stretches it. And I like the flavor of mine when I'm through with it better than what I start out with. So I just get my favorite salsa from save -Lot. This is just a mild chunk salsa. The reason I start out with this is it's got all the flavor profiles. It's been setting... I do like the flavor of it, and right in here it's going. Whole jar. Whole jar. I'm also doing diced tomatoes out of a can. In the summertime, of course, you can make this fresh, fresh, fresh. And these are whole tomatoes, that was diced tomatoes, these are whole tomatoes right out of a can, and that's gonna make about three times as much sauce as it started out with. And I'm going to use the flavor profile from the bot jar. And all I'm going to do is mix it good so that it will be chunky but yet mixed. Maybe you just have a half a jar of sauce and you think I ain't got enough for tonight. You can, you can make enough, folks. If you got tomatoes in the house, you can make enough. And look at that. You can taste of this, and it's going to taste very much like salsa. Mama? <coughs> did you get some of the... I haven't even sprinkled any spices yet. The slap your mama, I think. I sure said, the slap your mama. This is just parsley. Mama, if you want to just stir that till it browns. Putting parsley on the chicken and parsley in my salsa. The parsley does act as a flavor. Brings out some other flavors. And that's a good thing. This is cilantro. Some of y'all don't like it. Some of y'all love it. And to each their own, I say. Now, this is a good, powerful flavor. And I'm putting about a good teaspoon of that in there. Any more oil? I think that we're going to brown. We're going to have to Or we need... Olive oil, olive oil, and this is Italian. I'm gonna put about a good heaping teaspoon of it in there too. This is red pepper flakes. I'm only gonna put a scunch of it in there. That may be enough. I ain't gonna burn mama up with it. I'm gonna put a little olive oil just to add a little flavor profile. 
That's it, folks. That's all you gotta add to get a good salsa in two cans of tomatoes, one jar of salsa, and I'm gonna have a quart or more here. Um, not that Mom and I need that much, but I like the flavor of homemade and semi-homemade, so why not go for it? I could put some y'alls right here. I've got a candy right here. Don't get too much spicy sandwich. Mama's worried. She's nervous. Yeah, I am. You nervous over the storms? Over the spices you're putting in there. And this is a little bit of this wonderful lime pepper. Good with anything salsa. Trust me. Trust me. We're putting a good bit amount. That's why I use, it, use that the most. Seems like this was salsa. And I'm going to blend it. You can take that up, Mama, when it gets where you want it. Okay. Take it up and we'll put it on a quesadilla. Now, had I made this yesterday, it might taste a little richer, but I do. Let's see if it's not just as delicious right now. You can, that's just like downtown folks. Oh, it's good, real good. Mom, I got onion out, but I don't think you'll need it, will you? I can eat said no to that. No, that salsa. I can't let y'all taste, but you just had to take my word for it. It's top notch. It's the first chip. I'm not double dipping. Mm. Spot on, mama. It is. Spot on. I wish we had cows. Because if we had cows, I'd go out and watch them. And I'd see what they were doing and how they were acting. If they lined up and went to the barn, Look out. I'd be going to the safe place. But cows won't lie. These are just those extreme tortilla, uh, tortilla soft tortillas. You can see how soft they are. I love it. And um, we're just going to put them in this thing hot with some more olive oil. And, Mama, you can actually put your chicken right back on there. Let me let you look at Mama. Just put your chicken back on there if you want to, Mama. Oh, wow. Uh, this is yours. This is ours. Both of us. Yeah. And all you, of it or just part? That's just a lot. put all of it. That's a lot. We eat a lot, Mama. And um, you can put peppers, and that's traditional. But mama is not gonna want no peppers. So we just gonna do chicken and cheese quesadilla. I like to put them a little soft. You want it warm in there? Or? Just spread it out, just like a pizza. A pizza. A pizza, a pizza. All over the whole thing. Okay. We're scattered out. Okay. And now I'm just gonna cover it with cheese. Now this is where I would put my peppers if I were gonna put peppers. But no peppers tonight. Just the fried, it's not fried chicken, it's boiled chicken that's been browned and that wonderful cheese. And then I'm gonna put our topper, right on top. Seems like a good place for a topper. Give it a little snug. And Mama, did you put the lid over there? No, uh, it's over here on the Okay. And we're just gonna put a lid on it? Uh-oh. Hmm. I don't think that's in there. No, it's the whole, this ain't the thing. Oh. I don't like this hot plate for this reason, but that's the only reason I don't like it. 
because that pops out so easily. Maybe it's a safety mechanism. But it'll pop out and you sit in here, it'll pump out no matter what. So for that very reason, I wouldn't purchase another one of this friend, but the long one, I really like him. And he heats more evenly too. Uh -huh. So that's my product review on that. Once again, not sponsored, just simply telling y'all about a product. There you go. So we're just gonna let that heat. And then it's gonna steam. And then I'm gonna cut it in half. And then we'll be ready to eat. Mama, if you wanna get a plate, it won't be long. We thought we could get by with this one tonight because if it storms and electricity goes out or the internet goes out, it won't take as long to do this one. Um, but do be much in prayer for everybody in the line of these storms. They're in another county away from us. But it said they were headed northeast. The one next to us. Which really shouldn't come here. Northeast should take it into Kentucky instead of here. But pray for anyone in any storm. And here's our little salsa bubbles. These are Tupperware. And they do have lids, so if you have extra, you just put a lid on it. You don't eat onion on those. No, I've decided not to either, Mama. I was going to, and I was even going to put some peppers on mine, but I thought, you know, I ain't going to do it. I ain't going to do it. You can see how that's steaming up. What's the weather like at your all's place? Y'all got storms going on? I sure hope not. Oh, they've been talking about this storm all day. And Mama says since yesterday, I didn't hear yesterday, but it's, you know, it's spring. This is one of the downfalls of spring, is having to deal with the spring storms. Having to deal with the spring storms. If you want to heat this salsa up, put you some more stuff in it, but truly, those two cans of tomatoes just blended in with that jar of salsa. So I went from this size to now I've got three, almost three and a half times as much as that. And it's so good. And you can, it'll last just as long as the jar. Um, and it's delicious. So. It's raining so hard you can't see the mountains. Yeah, it's raining hard. Tornado warning for Jellico, Tennessee until Tuesday, April 2nd at 6 something. It's about over here, but. Mama, try and get a chip and a sauce and tell me how good I did oh. and didn't burn you up. Let's see if you burn me up. No, I definitely didn't burn you up. You're not burning me up. I definitely didn't burn you up. Yeah. <laughs> she won't. One of the best things about going out to a restaurant where they have chips and salsa, and you're waiting on your food, and you get the delicious chips and salsa. Isn't that the good part? Now look, that's a good rich salsa, folks. If you want to start out from scratch, do so. Just do the cans of tomatoes. Do some onion, do your peppers, do your seasons, do your flavors. But this is so easy, semi-homemade. If you serve this to your guests, they're not gonna recognize it because you blended it up. And they're gonna say, boy, that's good salsa. To which I always say, thank you. I just whipped it up. <laughs> Thank you. It was easy. What do you think about it, Mama? It's good. It ain't hard. I figured all them spices should kill me. <laughs> Never, Mama. Never. Can you reach me a napkin, please? Not sure, Mama. 
Oh, this is my section. I know it. I'm Take them, man. I've got long arms. Okay, let's check our little quesadilla. Quesadilla. Oh, it smells so good. It looks so good. I've got tons of utensils in here. But I really have a hard time finding the ones I need. Don't know more. Mm. How come that is? A messy drawer. But let's not plan it out. I don't know if I can survive that. Last time you cleaned it, I couldn't find nothing for ages. I put it in the second drawer to make it easier on you when you stay at camp. You did better the, the very last time. Let's get my tongs put together again. And let's see what we got under here. Oh, we got perfection. Look at that. Look at that. Mm. That could get no prettier in a picture. Golden brown. We're going to brown this side just a tinge. What do you think about that, Mama? It's brown. Mama, you're awful quiet tonight for a little woman who's sitting right here on the and didn't talk to nobody. I talk to people. Oh, I'm let's fine. see how you are. She's already through talking today, and she's got no talk left for us folks. Have you, Mom? Oh, yeah. I just got my eye on the outside more. You nervous, Mom, a little bit? No, I don't feel that nervous. That's going to hit. Yep, popped up. Mm -hmm. Now, this is plastic. It won't hurt anything. Won't hurt a thing. Now I can't eat a high one. Though. I knew you was going to say that, Mama. I just need a four. Well, Mama, I don't know. Let me see if I can cut it one more time this way. It is a lot of food now. I will give you that. You get food? No, not yet. I've seen you look at me. <laughs> I thought where the burning start was going to fix him to start. No. Now I could have folded these over on half and half, but I would have done two batches. And I figured, I didn't figure Mama asking for a quarter. But she did. Uh, we need forks and we can do them. Can you unplug that right down there? Okay. So here's your star crank. And here she pulls. Just let it drop, Mama. And here's your fork. quesadillas all around. Chips and quesadillas. I know it sounds crazy, but I had about all the real food I wanted. How about you, Mom? Taco Tuesday. Taco Tuesday. Let's raise y'all up. I had about all the ham and mashed potatoes and green beans. I was ready for a good quesadilla with some sour cream 
chicken. And when mama said, I've got chicken, what were you gonna fix? That's the case of Jesus. That sounds so good to me. Cause I'd already thought about this last night. I thought I'm ready for something quesadilla-ish. Make some dish. Uh-huh. You gonna do something? You don't wanna touch my hand. I forgot that sunscreen oh. thing on it. Well, let's bless it, Mom. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for this meal. Dear Lord, we just pray for everyone that's out there in the past of any of these storms, dear Lord. And if it's headed this way, we just pray for your hedge of protection, Lord. And Lord, we just ask for everybody who's gathered here tonight. Be with each and every prayer request, those spoken and unspoken. Watch over us, lead God and direct us in everything we do and say, dear Lord, and be with our world, be with our nation. In your blessed name we pray. Amen. So, folks, get a few more chips for our dip. Hey, it's not so sure like you're feeling it. You're so strict, Mama. <laughs> And we've got our salsa, and we've got our quesadilla, and we got it made before the electric went out. Let's try this quesadilla, Mama. Now, like I said, yes, the traditional one has peppers and sweet peppers, and I would put them on there. Even Mama leave them sometime, but tonight she's avoiding all onions and peppers and things of that nature. Mmm, it's good with just cheese and chicken. Mm -hmm. Delicious. Traditional quesadillas are a spicy chicken, peppers, and cheese. But there's no rules. You put yours the way you want them. I have made everything in quesadilla world right down to sausage and eggs on the quesadilla for breakfast, and it was good. Um, all things can be made good. Look here. Now that's a perfect bite. So, what I like for you to do, get your favorite jar of salsa, get you a couple of cans of tomatoes. You can use all diced or whole. Put it in your Tupperware chopper here. If you don't have one of those, you can use a blender. But these are so much quicker. Make you some homemade, semi-homemade salsa. Um, it's a party pleaser at the moment. Yeah. How many times have we made it? Well, I don't know if you're fooling with that. I don't make the salsa, that's your life. <laughs> but I mean, party, mine get together be, and get together. We've had Yeah, it. mine would be bland. That could be true. Have you tried your quesadilla? Yeah, I think I wanted it. Was it good? Mm-hmm. Too hot? No. Is this right? Yeah. If you'll give me that sweet and sour sauce, I'm gonna try some of I got it out just for that purpose. I don't normally use my own quesadilla, but I thought, Mama might. Because believe it or not, she's the one that Keeps us in sweet and sour sauce and all that goody. Mm, it's a good run. You can use this uh, and change the profile of it easy because it don't have pepper or nothing. It's not too hot. There you go, Mom. Ready for your... Thank you. Okay. I'm going to skip that. Now, Mom, that is sugary. I know, but I'm just going to try a little bit on this. This is perfect for me. Mm -hmm. Dip. I don't tend to double dip even when I've got my own bow. If I can keep from it. Because if there's any left, I'm going to put a lid on it and put it back in there. It has little feet. Makes it official. <laughs> it's official salsa dipping bowl. And the quesadilla is wonderful, Mama. Yeah. And a fourth is a big 
in the balance. We'll have that one for tomorrow or another day. Because it's delicious. What's the weather been like here today, Mama? It's been cloudy and gloomy and rained a little bit off and on, not much outside. Mama, this is a new shirt you're wearing. I ain't even seen this one. Yeah. Is that flannel? Yeah, it's a thin, really. It is thin. It's lightweight, it ain't hot. What have you done today? Nothing. Nothing? Am I going to start leaving you a chore list? Yeah. <laughs> you ever did it yesterday, didn't you? A little. I work a little bit, and then I rest work one day, and then have to rest one day. She planted the garden yesterday in the raised beds. Beans. Cabbage. Or lettuce. Not cabbage. Lettuce. Onions. What else did you put out there, Mama? Yeah, I put a little starting cucumber squash and peppers. Mmm. That's right. You did have squash yesterday. So I hope they'll come. I can cover them up easy. I hope they'll come up and I can transplant them down to the bigger garden. It's a... Um, Lightening up outside, like perhaps. I can see the mountain, now, the interstate mountain over there. The sky's quiet. It's not yellow. It was yellow looking. Huh? It was a little darkish yellow looking before. Now, Mama, I didn't see it. Well, it looked a little different. It wasn't bright like it is now. It was dark as rain. But I didn't see the yellow. I think our warning has passed, but I guarantee you the storm is somewhere, and somebody could use our prayers. Well, so it's let's supposed pray to for come in waves too, sections of it. So it's a lot more. My granny always said, "I'm ready to see winter go, but I hate to see spring storms," and she didn't like spring storms. In fact, she couldn't be left at home alone. No. Somebody had to get to her. <clears throat> or, or Granny wouldn't be happy. She talks about storms when she was a kid. I don't know if she was terrified of them then or... I had more tornadoes. Then they do now. She talked about a storm where a baby was found in a tree, sewing miles away or a mile or two away, but when they found it, the baby was sound asleep. Uh, they was one come through the bottoms down here, took out some camp houses and houses through there. That was for my time. Mm. And then they was some up at Pruden, that's what. Several killed up there. Mm -hmm. We've had some bad storms. Yeah. I mean, we've had we've had some storms that somebody took down rolls of trees here, and they declared it to be straight line winds. But not too many years ago, across our hill here, there was a lot of damage. Of damage. And Houses it was determined to be straight line wind. I don't care if it's circling or straight line, the damage is there. <laughs> mm -hmm. Folks, thank y'all for being here with us. Let's see what y'all, let's bring these down. Yeah. And let's see what y'all are talking about. Jellicoe is under tornado warning, according to WNT News. Oh, so it still is? Jellicoe under tornado warning. Walter, thank you. Um, why can't y'all just watch and stop all the 
drama. Wow. I don't know. Somebody's doing drama. Diana, are they doing drama? We're having chicken patty sandwiches. Now, I love that, Karen. I love a good chicken patty sandwich with tomatoes and lettuce and a little bit of JFG or some Duke's mayonnaise. Hi to both y'all. I remember growing up in Florida, high electrical storm. Mom used to have us unplug all it. Yep. And don't be in the shower. Don't be on the phone. I was always told. Don't be on that phone. There's an electrical storm coming. That's when we hooked to waters all the time. <laughs> Don't be in the shower. Can't hear us. Peggy, is everybody else hearing us? I've got microphones on and everything. Peggy, you can come, go out and come back in. Son of Mama, I would like to apologize for all the know, know what else on here who think they need to tell everyone. I don't know what's going on, Sandra, but thank you. Hey, Susan. Blue hearts. I'll go back and look. Barbecue wings for dinner tonight. Mm. Good evening, John and Mama. Charles, how are you? If people are worried about the storms, when we started the video... They were 40 miles away and they weren't headed this direction. So I knew we had rain and stuff, but I've never have felt like we were in danger or we would have gone to our safe spot already. But we're literally in the room with our safe place. We'll go through that tour, go down one flight of steps and that's where we call our safe spot. It's in the middle of the house. There's two concrete load bearing walls and that's always been where we agreed we would meet because it... No windows to get glass. No windows and it's uh, concrete, concrete and it's in a corner and there's two low bearing walls uh, and that wall is in the middle of the structure. So there would still be another barrier beyond that. So I feel like that would be the safest spot. And that's where we've always gone if there was even a hesitation of anything. Um, and a warning doesn't mean one has been spotted, but he had been spotted 40 miles from here. Um, but in this area... We would be more east we, instead of northeast. We of would be southeast, and it was headed northeast. So this tornado was here. We are here, 40 miles away, and the tornado is going this way. So at no time were we sitting here going along with life with the tornado outside our door. It's just that was the direction it was headed. So we're, we weren't in any danger, if that's what y'all are saying. Um, we it's are cautious of those. It's, it's clear. And I've been watching outside. And I can see the mountains. And you well, when we get bad way. storms, we get this eerie yellow haze. And you, we get a, either hot or a real cold temperature drop. And there's a lot of variables that we know from living here all of our lives. Um, but the direction of the storm was not coming our direction and it was already 40 miles away. So that's, if somebody's worried about that, we're not just, you know, looking at the eye and going, oh, we don't care. Because we do. We do. We care a lot. And I wouldn't put Mama in any harm for any reason for any day, would I, Mama? Oh, no. In fact, sometimes I've made her do things just out of caution, like... In the middle of the night, if there's a tornado and it's headed our direction. I woke you up before when mm -hmm. you was little. When I was little, but when, you know, even at this age, you know, if it was even headed in our direction or it said it was, we'd just go down there and hang out for a little while and just let it pass and see. Is that something up right there? No. But that's just the way that the seasons are here. We know every year we're going to have these. And over the years, we've adapted to kind of know where we are and know the proximity and know where the other places are and if it's headed a direction. So We're very lucky we don't have. We do have some tornado. Mm -hmm. We have a ridge or mountains right around us. And that protects us a lot of times. And a lot of times, even rain. I mean, this is weird. But I can, in the direct west, I can see rain coming. The mountains will disappear. It'll be snow white up through there. And I think we're fixing to get a rain. 
And sometimes we do. But I've sat right here on our back porch, watched the rain come and walk right around this mountaintop. And I watched it walk and I could hear it. I could hear the rain hitting the leaves on this mountain. And we would never get a drop. Now my aunt, Mama's baby sister, lives on that mountain. There's been many, a time, and it's a, two miles from here. There's been many conversations with Mama and her on the phone and her saying, it's raining buckets. It is pouring the rain. And Mama said, we are dry as a chip. I can hear it over there. And I said, we can hear it over there. It's the weirdest location, <laughs> but that's the way it is at the moment. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times in the summer, we really are happy to see that rain come. And it's so disappointing when it goes right around that ridge. But that happens. Mama, you didn't eat much of your quesadilla. I ain't got over last night still much. <laughs> well, you just had an upset stomach. You think you got a bug or you think you ate too much? I ate something that didn't agree with me, I think. We went extra bland tonight because Mama was up and down last night. But a lot of my co-workers have complained with the same symptoms. It could be a bug, but I don't know. And I told Mama, I said, and I went outside today and my voice was going in and out for a long time. And we had a, it's got bigger. Let's see nothing. We were around a lot of people this weekend. And um, that's been one of the you know, contributing factors is big crowds. So Mama might have picked up a bug, but... She doesn't have a favor, and she's doing much better today. Yeah, but the reason my voice was coming in and out earlier is that I went out there, and I was out there yesterday, and, but the pear trees are not in bloom, so I don't know if... Sarvis is. What it is, there's something out there affecting it. Right over on that mountain ridge, there's mm -hmm. a lot of sarvis. This whole there. hillside is full of sarvis. Mm -hmm. So I think... Maybe we were blaming the Bradfords for everything. And they weren't guilty of it all. Not all of it. But it's just summer. A lot of it. Now, Mama will get a little hacky, dry cough in August. Well, we don't Keep know. Keep it tall fall. We tried and tried. We've gone to the doctor in August, after August, before it starts. Now, Mama, they give her Benadryl or something like that. So, take Benadryl, do this. You're allergic to something that blooms. We don't really know what it is. But I know that cough so well. Mama don't recognize it sometimes when she first starts it. And I say, it's here. That's that cough. Is it? And then say, what's Mama, so bad? I don't get over it good till I usually end up with bronchitis and have another Mama, cough. it's here. Your cough is here. And she'll start taking the medicine she's supposed to take for it. It helps, don't it, Mama? Yeah. You've done that. Daddy's been dead for seven years. You've done that for the past 12 years. Yeah. Ever fall. <laughs> Ever fall. Right around her birthday, actually. Yeah. And, uh, but we know each other. We know our symptoms. Mine are spring allergies, but I've, mine have changed since I'm getting old. Mine was bad, bad when I was a kid. I mean, it From was... From baby on up, you was terrible. It was the kind of bad that my granny would say, come in this house and, and get out of that stuff. You're you're stopping up. I can tell. You're, you're sick. You're my mom, my mama, I, or granny, I'm not coming in. And I just waited out. And I'd have nosebleeds with my... I'd have all kinds of problems. I would take Benadryl and go right back in and play. And he go to school. He took prescription Benadryl back then. In kindergarten, well, first, second, third, right on up. But even in kindergarten, he would have to take strong prescription Benadryl in order just to survive to go to school. <laughs> when I got about 13, he quit. I didn't have allergies. I've really not been plagued with them all my adult life. Not bad. Like in the past three years or four, some poor in there. He'd break out and swell up mm -hmm. and couldn't breathe and... Then you started having nosebleeds with it. About seven years ago, my eyes started swelling every once in a while. And um, I assumed it was the fireplace because I had a real fireplace. And, but then since I've come over here, it does it 
just every once in a while my eye will just swell. Sometimes you all probably have seen it. Uh, just in the corners it'll swell. It's just some allergy to something. But you people who have allergies, you know what we deal with. And uh, you know what it's like. So, yeah. But we, get through. we ain't complaining. I'm just glad to be here, allergies and all. Um, Could be a lot. Oh, yeah. I'm just thankful every day that I can get up and walk and talk and, you know, and go and do and be who I am. Uh, the Lord blesses me every day. And he blesses Mama. And I'm just thankful for that. Just very thankful for that. So, um, folks, we're going to go and we're going to pray for anybody who is in the path of these storms. If it was going northeast, it's hitting Kentucky, so please remember Alabama. Some of Kentucky's already been hit. So you all be safe. And um, take care of yourself wherever you're at tonight. Find, try this salsa. You, can, you all know the quesadillas. You can make the quesadillas with one side, wrap them, and just do a half if you want to. Uh, I should have just done this one tonight, Mama, and not even made a full one. I don't know it. But I just one chicken breast, and so we got enough for lunch there. Be just as good. Mama, you got anything you want to add tonight? No. Okay. I'm glad it's clearing off and stuff. And you'll feel better tomorrow, won't you? I hope so. Well, it's wet out there, so I probably won't go out. <laughs> and the rain will help the allergies. Yeah, it'll wash some of it away. And I wasn't out there too awful. Well, I was out there two or three times, but I wasn't out there long, like I was yesterday. I think it's coming on me from yesterday being out there. So it comes in the HVAC, comes through the windows. It, it's just here. It's just bad at times. But you can't hide from it, I've decided. I know it. Ain't no hiding from them. All right, Mama, say good night to everybody. Good night, Mama, and God bless you all. Bye-bye. God bless you, and Lord willing, we'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.